Hey, what's up guys? Brian C here and um, I'm actually just about to show you guys a video of uh, me when I was in the Philippines. It's actually, uh, so today is a special day since it's actually Halloween here in Canada but in the Philippines it's actually called All Souls Day. Uh, this video was taken uh, with a friend of mine during daytime on January 13, 2017 Sorry, I can't give you guys uh, like uh, the night, sca uh, nighttime scary scene. I just didn't have the time at that time. <laughs> okay, so quick explanation: uh, the difference between Canada's Halloween and Philippines uh, All Souls Day. So Canada's Halloween are kids, adults donning costumes, kids going house to house trick or treating, adults going to bars, dance halls. And concert halls uh, to dance the night away but I did see some families paying their respects uh, during Halloween and uh, for the Philippines also stay the difference is um, well it's uh, slowly being westernized it's um, Halloween is changing there but um, it's still considered as all souls day for November 1 so what that means is family member actually goes to um, to the cemetery to uh, clean uh, their loved ones uh, final resting place and um, spending some time there thinking about uh, the life uh, that their loved ones lived through and uh, just thinking of the good times and to pay practically paying their respects okay hopefully um, you guys like this quick explanation of mine? Let's go straight to the video. Okay. Good Shepherd Memorial Park Cemetery. I'm with my uh, old uh, Barcada, Alvin Manahan. Okay, this is the Bulacan Bulacan Cemetery. So you can see there's family mausoleum here. Expensive, Diba. Right? Quite. quite expensive you know what the uh, best time to come down here late night yeah. 1 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, wealthy and popular mm -hmm. yeah yeah and this is Enrique Ramos practically a mausoleum Space one. Happen. Huh? Mm. You don't permit the um, jerks to clean the mausoleum. So practically it gets run down. Uh, when you left, we will show you. Yeah. The god of time. So, can you tell me what you Pinas, Mamahalin. Run down talaga. Mm. 
Ito pa isa. Mukhang uh, this is actually a very big mausoleum. The Gonzales Puison. Is this actually a, a resting place or a compound? Wow. The biggest in Bulacan Bulacan Mausoleum. Wealthy family. During the 80s, but uh, during the 80s, it's own lock. Looks like uh, the lock is well run down, looks newer. Now, for the people who can't uh, afford a resting place for their loved ones, this is what's called the apartment. My nana, actually, uh, my grandmother's sister, actually, uh, is in another location in an apartment. Every year, this spot is too crowded. Yeah. Every Halloween. Oh well, yeah, all souls day. As you can see, we have an open casket here. Someone's gonna be with their vest here. Looks like what's left of a coffin. And there's definitely gonna be some, yeah, remains here. Okay, I'm just gonna. See if I can. Taka masusok ako dito pre. Actually, that's the idea. Luckily, an open space so you guys can see it for an apartment. Not that great to have a family member placed here because eventually the they'll be exhumed, placed in a smaller. Once uh, all the bones are left, they'll be put in a uh, smaller uh, resting place. Yeah, and they mix it all together. Yeah, they mix it all together, which makes it even worse. Yeah. Okay, let's keep on walking. There's uh, different types of uh, settings here from apartment to mausoleums. If a family is wealthy, they can actually purchase a small land here to build their resting place. This one here, we will see clearly the status of the people. Yeah, the difference. Uh, the different status of people from poor to wealthy this is one of uh, another apartment here as you can see this walkway is littered with the uh, debris and trash and overgrown and uh, someone placed actually a candle here to a loved one some of the church uh that's church some of the areas here are poorly maintained. We even have this here, a garbage dump, which is very, very disgusting. No respect for the dead, I guess, for some people, which is not fair. I'm guessing there's, uh, there's probably bones here mm -hmm. underneath. There's a possibility because from the way this looks like, there's this uh, old uh, wall here. So you can see it. There's even a slip of casket there. This is disturbing. I will make sure that the. Yeah, there's even more there. Wow. 
they're actually looks like they're those uh, more expensive caskets very old ones where people was laid to rest decades ago so of the god that uh, there's no items <laughs> no human <laughs> remains here <laughs> Because this is disturbing to its highest level. I can forgive landfills, but uh, to turn a cemetery for people's resting place into a dump yard and discarded the uh, coffins. Uh, no. But the rest seems to be cleaned properly. There's spaces also reserved, I guess either say on sale or already purchased by uh, specific individuals still some more discarded uh, trash ah. wow how big is this this area is big right it's like family got uh, a small uh, private uh, cemetery being taken care of my nana's resting place is the public one in another uh, cemetery which I'll be covering in another video uh, here's another one uh, it's an apartment huh this um, is maybe they transfer to in a different location. Different location, older area. Well, well at least there's nothing here. It's nothing much. Just some old discarded uh, funeral wreaths. Some even uh, have a toilet built in, a comfort room, washroom. There's two people that was that's like that in the 90s. There were water and electricity here, but the nowadays it's been yeah. from yeah. yeah. Open area. Looks like the looks like this next one here is similar to a two-story house. You found something interesting. I think this one's Muslim. Muslim? Yeah. Oh no, yeah. uh, Joe Basquiat. Ah. He was up there, right? Oh. Now this one right here and this other one looks like a two-story house. This one here is a lot more expensive. That's definitely the area where they actually uh, eat their meal upstairs. And I'm guessing this is uh, sealed up. Technically, this is private property. Bad luck. Yeah. Oh, another space. This is either for a child or 
bones. I'm uh, gonna guess that's where uh, when the body is completely decayed to its bones. This area is big. I don't think we have enough time to actually explore this. Some areas are actually very big, bigger than uh, a town. end this uh, episode here so this is the Balakan Balakan uh, cemetery uh, the public cemetery very big you guys have seen different uh, different uh, styles of uh, resting place uh, different uh, you can uh, clearly tell the status of the family by uh, how they are buried by their loved ones some are huge mausoleums, some are very small apartment uh, apartments, which is the cheapest that people can afford. So this is it. This is the Traveling Pinoy signing up for this episode here. Please like, comment, subscribe. See you guys. Okay, itong uh, rest of the video ay eh, ilalagyan ko na lang ng uh, i-speed up ko na lang. Wala ba si Jason dito? Jason? Sa DD13 ngayon, bad. Okay, <laughs> Ama pala. <laughs> so, Friday the 13th, yeah, as I mentioned earlier on this uh, GoPro video here, it's January 13th, Friday the 13th. I was, I am born on Friday the 13th, February 13th. So, it's my lucky day. It's your bad luck day. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Chinese is a good number for me. Yeah. I remember uh, cutting classes in the Se Obando Cemetery. <laughs> yeah. Uh, back in elementary. Um, yeah. Um, back in our days, uh, this area or in any cemetery, uh, that's uh, have a school built close by. This area is a known hangout for delinquents, uh, kids uh, from elementary to high school student that um, loves to uh, cut class, smoke, do so drugs, laid. huh? Even laid, yeah. Even get laid at, yeah. Fun times, huh? Yeah. Look at I like the thing with the design. Yes. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Definitely an eating area upstairs. And Do drinking you know? area. Mm. Drinking area, yeah. yeah. Stay here late mm -hmm. night. Wow. Mm -hmm. oh. I won't stay here overnight. Um, October 31 is the November 1. Yeah. yeah. And just to clean up or no, with family? Um, they used to come from far away location so but the remains of the love